Welcome back to the channel, guys. Before we get into this video, I wanted to let you know we are giving away this 2001 Z06 Corvette, 17,000 miles. You guys know I love Corvettes. We found the perfect one for you. It's also coming with a brand new Pro Charger kit that just got installed, 18 inch CCW wheels, brand new tires, and $10,000 cash to the lucky winner that wins this car. All you have to do is go to 1320video.com. Links in the description. Every dollar you spend is a chance to win this car. Mitchell, Casey Max Firebird out here at Yellow Belly. How you doing? I did not think I was going to see you here. Yeah, uh, we had a pretty rough go a couple weekends ago down at Battlefield Dragway. Yeah, far one half of time. So we were running radials and we were doing a uh, prep event down there and it's for a good amount of money and uh, we were in the semis, we had the 5.3 in it and we were hauling ass. We got pretty aggressive with it, uh, we lost the tire, uh, didn't lose the motor, motor still lived. Uh, lost a tire, and with the radials, sometimes when you spin, it's hard to recover. And it moved really quick to one wall, then to the next wall, and we couldn't save it from the second wall. It made a pretty hard impact. We did hurt a lot of parts, but I think we made out about the best we could. I mean, we didn't roll over. It was a guardrail. A lot of people go over guardrails, so I think it turned out about as good as it could. So what all did you have to fix on that car? Uh, we did body work, the roof, quarter panels, door jams, both jams on this side, front end. Uh, it's all new front suspension, new front wheels, uh, new axles. We had to re-align uh, the rear axle housing, tweak that. Um, yeah, pretty much everything but the wing and the cooling system. And this was, what, two weeks ago? About 10, 10, 10 11 days ago. Are you serious? Okay, it, it has been less than two weeks. And so it's got the big block in here now? Yeah, so we pulled the LS out to make sure everything was good and to square everything back up. And then we knew we were coming to this race, like this is our goal. And um, I just don't think the 5 3 got enough for this race. So I think the big block's a better choice for this one. Right. So I'm hoping it does pretty good. How much power do you think this combo makes the box in LA? Uh, when we're on full tilt, about 2,600 wheel. Crazy. And what class are you running this weekend? Uh, so we're going to be three. Um, three classes? Yeah. All right. So we're going to be ambitious, and we're going to jump into uh, smaller tire, and then we have small tire, then we have uh, outlaw tire, or outlaw small tire. Okay, so on the biggest class, you can run like a 20, 29 and a half? Or yeah, whatever. outlaw, you can run 29 and a half, 10, 5, and you can have all-wheel drive. And then you got a small tire, which is 29 and a half, 10, 5, no all-wheel drive, and then you got a smaller tire, which is 28, 10, 5. You know, so you run 28, 10, 5 the whole weekend? Is that... Yeah, I don't have another set of wheels right this second, so okay. we're just going to stick with one set of wheels and one set of tires for the whole weekend. So you so, could have a lot of racing ahead of you, Paul. It could be a plan. ton. I haven't even thought about how many passes we can make this weekend. And we're doing buybacks for a second That's round. That's right. Oh, so, okay. So tomorrow, oh, you can buy back and go out for a round. Yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. Interesting. Right, well, sounds like they're going to start running here soon. Yep. Good luck to you this weekend. Welcome back to racing. I thought well, it was going to be longer than this. You guys have to be ecstatic. Yeah, we're pumped. So hopefully it starts going well. So uh, we made one pass earlier tonight, and it was not that great. So we're hoping it'll get in gear and get moving. Plenty of time to get some data. Yeah. All right. Good luck, man. Thank you. First round Outlaw Small Tire, we have Ryan Mitchell and the Firebird going up against Callie Nate and the Chevy 2, two of the fastest cars we filmed on the streets in the last few years. It both won some cash days over the last few years, quite a few cash days actually. This is going to be a good ass race. I 
also want to see a good race because I, well, I want to see those guys race. Damn. Up. It just knocked tire off. Well, really knocked tire off. So it's possible we could line up with that car in Outlaw. That's true. As we go through After the this right, yeah. So we, that could happen if I keep moving forward. So Hell yeah. that would be funny. So you got the yellow Firebird here and yep. Outlaw next round? Yep. Sweet. vision like issue like you just think that there's so much stuff happening so we came down here once last year and like I was super gun shy I could keep my foot on the floor because it just feels like you're going so fast you know, like you should be doing this just a little like it feels like you're going down a mall you don't usually have beans like 10 feet yeah. from you five feet from you so it's it's very nerve-wracking I'm at the finish line like eight feet over the finish line basically it's cool watching the cars go under me <laughs> it's trippy <laughs> luckily no doors have flown up into me but no just sideways just the walls yeah well good luck in the next rounds three rounds of classes thank you sir <laughs> Lindy, when are we going to start this race right after this merch plug that's right guys it is time for a merch plug so if you go to 1320video.com you can get yourself a hat a hoodie a shirt keychains 
lanyards, we've got it all. And if you head there right now, every dollar you spend is going to get you one entry to win the Pro Charge C5 Corvette. It's a no brainer. Head on over, get your favorite merch, get to shopping, and then come back here because we're about to start racing. of the weekend right there. Cowley Nate and the Firebird, Ryan Mitchell with the Firebird taking home the win. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Holy I was like, our wires are going to kill us. He's like, that was a spicy shutdown. That's all you needed to see. Two clean passes side by side and we got it. Got it. That was sick. Done. Best race of the night. Now Best race 20, of the weekend. There are 20 minutes, we'll probably do it again. Yeah. I love it. So you're racing Mamba. Racing the Mamba again. In Outlaw? Yeah. Okay. So we have a buy for small tire. I'm going to sit it out. We've been running so much today. You're going to give us ourselves a breather. Gotcha. So. Good call. Can you pound it? High five? Yeah. High five. Woohoo! Nice work, guys. <laughs> Best race of the weekend right there, Casey Max and My Little Pony. Like a half or three quarters of a car. Badass race. All right, we're going to do this again since it worked last time. Both y'all can't suck, all right? Both of us can't suck. Yeah. we got to make a real pass. Yeah, don't up. I'm gonna do my best. I, I almost <laughs> forgot the CO2 when I raced the pony. Woo. I seriously was pulling up and I was like, I better. Oh, I really did forget it again. That would have been so, a fatal error. Yeah. All right. Good so, luck, man. Here we go again. Final here for Outlaw Small Tire. We'll see your races next. Who's racing who? I got Todd. Todd has beat me five times out of five times we've raced. You want to roll tonight, though? So cow sleepy. So cow sleepy. I've only won like 14 races today. His car was like nearly totaled 10 days ago. And he's in the semifinals for three different classes at 2 in the morning here at Yellow Belly at the baddest small tire in America race. Ago, it was yeah. 
pretty much total. <laughs> yeah, dude, if you saw all the pictures and everything, like, you know, like there's just no quit. And Ryan, even the body work, Ryan just decided to go. He goes, I don't know how to do body work, so he just bought a book on Amazon. Are you serious? Yeah, dead serious. <laughs> the fender is the whole side of it. If you really look at it, I mean, you know the car. Oh, yeah. Everything's new. Everything's new. Dang. And you fucking did it. I did. I've never beaten Todd before. <laughs> All right, now we got another one to get Just into. Just five more races left. Five. <laughs> <laughs> Dally Nate, Ryan Mitchell. I forget what number we're on, but this is obviously not the first time this has happened. You, you didn't like 20 minutes ago. You didn't think you could run six more times, but you have to run at least three more times. I might have to borrow fuel. Let's look at all the fuel we've got. Yeah, through. it's a good thing you brought a streetcar here. It is a good thing. But You're not getting really pushed system. around, pulled around. <laughs> You're driving it everywhere. You literally ran like 12 minutes ago. Yep. Just ran again, and you got to run again in like yeah. 10 minutes. As soon as we get the shoots back, we'll go again. Yeah, we'll get to work. So, nice work. Okay, thanks, sir. <laughs> See you. All right, here we go. This is the third of the semifinals that Ryan has to get through to get to the final. Outlaw small tire semifinal. We have Ryan Mitchell and the Firebird going up against the Maverick. Brand new build, I think six or seven passes on this car. Brand new rebuild, I think 13 or 14 passes this weekend since they rebuilt it. Soon on the starting line, the tire crack cam just confirmed the Maverick jumped. Ryan Mitchell is going to three finals, outlaw small tire, small tire, and smaller tire finals coming up in just a few minutes. Three more passes. What the hell? Three more passes to go. What <laughs> the hell? Not bad for an opening weekend. He's bringing you a scooter. Uh, you lucked on that last one a little bit. Huh? You lucked it a little bit on oh, that last yeah. one. Oh, uh, yeah. We saw it, and I was like, well, let's just try to make the hit behind them. And I, the surf is going away fast. It is just getting. I've heard wetter, that from a wetter, couple of people. Quicker, quicker, seems like. So, uh, I mean, we're running tune ups at work the last, I don't know, 20 passes. And they're not working anymore. So. Where are you going to have to dial it back? Right off the hit? Uh, Mid track on. Okay. Mid track on, looks like. So. All right. Let's see. Three finals coming up soon. You got to hop out the sh out of it. <laughs> yeah. It's only be about 10 minutes. You've been doing it the last hour anyway. Yeah. Go. 
Ryan Mitchell versus Steve Smaller Tire Final. California taking home the win at smaller tire. <laughs> I bet they're freaking out. Steezy's like, I'm just gonna get my ass drug. Tony Hoffman, take out a step. What happened? I think our tires are just dead. No shit. Yeah, usually you only make 10 or 12 passes on these things, and then they start to lose uh, their functionality. And I think we're just on a declining side of it. Shit. So no spares. Thompson is really hard to get right now, but it seemed like it was spinning and he kind of made a move towards me and I made a move to the left to stay away. And, uh, yeah. All right, here we go. Man, we got two more finals to go. Yeah. Here we go. We'll see you up there in the film. We got we'll Outlaw small tire final, Ryan Mitchell and Brent Self, two of the fastest small tire cars on the property, going down right now. Mitchell making a decent pass against Brent Self. Brent just making it to the finish line first. That car has a ton of power, and he has a 29, 10 and a half, a little bit bigger tire than Ryan's running, so he can run all three classes in one day. But uh, Ryan's got one more class to go. He's running up against Jason Cantu in small tire class once he gets his car cooled down here. You wearing this little girl out? Jesus Christ. <laughs> Not a bad pass. Not a bad pass. So, Brent's always tough competition. What are you thinking against Jason? We'll just try to make a clean lick. So, that's all we can go for. Oh, yeah. Hope we get it cooled down enough here. Oh, yeah. Should cool down. All right. Ryan Mitchell is up here at 4.45 in the morning for the small tire final. Didn't take it home in super small tire or outlaw small tire, but did win five grand in each of those classes, so doing pretty good. He's got Jason Cantu in the final here. Let's see if he can pull out the win for this race. Jason can to cross the finish line, but did he cross? I don't think so. Don't think so. He was close to it. Did he cross? They just yep. he crossed. Yep. Uh -oh. It's official. He didn't cross. He touched it, which is the That's rules awesome. here. If you touch. Oh. Well, we got one. High yeah. five. What out nice. of three? Wow. Cool. We didn't know that until they just yelled at it. I and mean, I, I thought they were kidding. I didn't kidding. even think it was a. I didn't even think he got close. Oh yeah, he got. He he was over one stripe with his tire, uh, and hit the chute, and then came back over into his lane. Um, yeah, here. It I'll was look. pretty sketchy for both of you. Yeah, I mean uh, the back end for me was not good. Yeah. I think I may have won the most tonight. Then. It was like over ten grand for this class. For yeah, small I think tire. it was ninety-eight. Ninety-eight hundred. 
And then I think the 20 splits off the other one makes it another five on top of that. Not bad. All right. Not bad. We want to thank everybody that helped us and supported <laughs> us and all the donations and overnight parts. And we Hell could not have done it at all without any of them. Two weeks. Fuck. Oh. <laughs> Screwed up your car. <laughs> <laughs> What an amazing way to finish off one hell of a hustle to get this car back in racing condition. Here for its first re-debut, first passes after rebuilding it, after wrecking it just less than two weeks ago. Coming here to Yellow Belly, one of the sketchiest tracks out there. Going to the finals in three different classes and winning the small tire class. Somewhere close to 15 plus thousand dollars going into the pocket of Ryan Mitchell. Just amazing. Like, he, we see him all over the streets all over the no prep races and he goes rounds all the time but talk about one hell of a struggle to come back from a wreck i mean they, they've worked their butts off to get to this point over the last two weeks so big shout out to ryan mitchell casey max crew and everyone that helped them out to get to this point if you haven't been to yellow belly drag strip make sure to come here not for the faint of heart at all but we had a blast here thank you guys for watching make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and if you have make sure to hit that bell so you're notified every time we upload a new video we'll see you next time